Futaba is trending on Twitter. And I've had a lot of people tagging me to this situation. Thank you all very much for the tags. Here is what's going on. This is the Twitter account for Erica Lynn Beck, the voice actress of Futaba. And as you can see, it says the account no longer exists. It seems like she actually deleted her entire account. To my understanding of the situation, someone made an AI voice cover using her voice of that Mimi song, Welcome to the Internet. Now I missed this going down in real time, so I'm kind of playing catch up now to all the context. And there is this tweet, which provides some more context. And this tweet is getting a lot of backlash as well. We'll get to that. First, let's read it. it says, Futaba voice actress Erica Lynn Beck has deleted her Twitter account after running a harass uh, harassing campaign over a dumb but harmless Futaba AI cover video. I would have understand... I would have understand her and side with her if the original video was monetized, but it wasn't. And then showing you know, the images there. Some of the top comments include Ama Lee saying it was not a harassment campaign. She stated she did not like someone using her voice without her permission to make content. It's so plain and simple. Cravat saying, bruh, how hard is it to not be a jerk really? And another response saying maybe had she been professional and confronted the uploader directly, not as many people would have a problem with it. The issue lie and that she didn't, and instead dogpiled the guy. Classic example of the Streisand effect. The OP then saying, and thanks to that, it made the original video more popular, and now after it got deleted, there are at least like eight to nine re-uploads of the video with more Futaba AI covers in the works as we speak. So we are missing some context. I am not able to provide, unfortunately, the tweets that she made about the video uploader, so I can't give that to you. Uh, according to my recollection, when I first found out about this topic last night, uh, she had already deleted the tweets like her account was still up and I was trying to find what she said about the video uploader But I think she deleted those tweets and I guess later on deleted her entire account So I'm just letting you know that's why I can't show you those screenshots I don't have them and I haven't found them so we're missing that but let's see what other people are saying about this Returning to the thread that we were taking a look at a moment ago This response says please cope that VA said she didn't like her voice being used for AI without consent uh, And then I guess trying to plug their uh, Twitter account or something Asking if the op is seriously trying to play the victim. Someone else saying, that's her voice, her choice to have it used in ways she did not approve of is sickening. Someone else saying, buddy, my voice is on the internet. I used to do YouTube videos. If someone used mine to say horrible things, I'd be furious. Not only that, uh, I used to make money. Not cool. And a couple more we'll read here. She didn't harass anyone. Y'all victimized yourself for running her off the platform. Cope more. Someone else saying, delete your account and get wrecked, man. Erica is one of the nicest voice actresses I've ever met and she doesn't deserve this. And then we got this. It has nothing to do with monetization. It has everything to do with consent. That's her voice. She didn't want her voice to be used that way. The original vid was taken down. Trolls who didn't get what the big deal was re-uploaded to be malicious. What don't you understand? Oh, and then there's someone tagging me. Thank you for the tag. Little Karibo also responding, saying, Correction, you'd understand her side if you had anything resembling empathy. You guys ran Erica Lynn Beck off Twitter. One of the nicest people. Be ashamed. Sean Chiplock saying, If you want to make an AI video out of my voice without my permission, which is always, I know I can't stop you and that trying will only make it worse. Instead, I'll simply note it so that if I ever lose work slash clients because of it, I can use the info to sue you into oblivion. Adding, I know Americans like to throw the term around a lot as an empty threat, but my career is one of the few things I will absolutely not mess with and will pursue every possible avenue to protect, even the expensive ones with proper counsel. Don't take the risk, it's not worth it. Getting a response that reads, yeah, you probably shouldn't make AI versions of voice actors. I could understand why you might want to for memes and such, but it could also cost voice actors their jobs, and yeah, we don't actually want anybody to lose their career, especially over something people put together for fun. I'm not gonna say that, I'll say fun. Someone else asking, wait, how is a welcome to the internet cover going to make her lose her career? Or is she talking about other possible harmful parodies than I would understand? The other person then responding and elaborating on their take, saying, most likely scenario is that the studios hear an AI recording based on her voice and assume she's been doing work on the side, or conversely, the recording is spicy enough that they decide the voice is tainted and they can't use the character for children's cartoons or whatnot anymore. There's also the fact that some studios want to create AI copies of voice actors so they can save money. I'm betting they wouldn't be able to use a black market version created on the internet. At the same time, though, I still wouldn't blame VAs for being rather nervous about that particular prospect. And going back to Sean's point, it does seem like he is right about this. In this example, it's actually kind of happening uh, the same way. Like, in trying to take down the video, it's only resulted in a Streisand effect of sorts. Like, one of the videos is removed, now there's like a dozen re-uploaders. And now there's more interest in people looking for that video. So, yeah. And those of you who've been watching my videos for like at least eight months or so may remember around eight months ago in a segment, I mentioned that there's actually a video that someone made on YouTube uh, of using my voice. Like they turned my voice into AI and then did a whole video like with my voice. And it was definitely creepy. 
not gonna lie that was kind of funny because the comments were like wait why does that sound like hero hey they're like they're like what, what's going on here so that that caused me to laugh but like the the taking the voice part was creepy the people being like <laughs> confused by it was pretty funny though but ultimately you know i didn't really i i couldn't even watch the full video nor did i want to because it was kind of creepy but i i just tend to ignore it you know and move on because it, it it's kind of like sean said like there's not much you can do about it and if it's not like actually harming your career at that point, perhaps the best thing is to is to ignore it. And then as we already said now to reiterate it for the third time, if it actually does damage you, maybe at that point you sue. I'm really not sure. Obviously, international uh, uh, international law may play a factor depending on where the uh, uploader is and all that too. So again, it is a complicated situation. Conversely, some people say it's like fair use and you lose in court. Other people say that it's like fraud. So I'm not a lawyer. I don't know. It's just some of what people are saying. You know how it is talking about the news, kind of just going over what's going on, for lack of better phrasing. We got Erica Harlocker Stone, VA of Venti, the one and only, saying Erica Lynn Beck is amazing and sweet and has been through hell and back in the past couple of years. How dare you AI stands bully her off of social media all because she told you not to steal her voice without consent? You're awful and I hope you have a bad day, she says. This quote retweet talks about the initial post, the one that I did not get a chance to see and the one I mentioned I wouldn't be able to show you because it's like gone. It says, yeah, screw whoever did this. Voice actress or not, she has the right to defend the use of her own voice, especially when she has asked nicely for people not to do it. I saw the initial post. She was nicer than I would have been. Got another tag here. Thank you, Truel Hype, for the tag. We've got this response here too as well. Oh, this is this is back to like the thread where the dude was basically uh, supporting the uh, AI stuff. Yeah, I'll just click it again here. It's uh, this one right here. Remember this? So it says, it's not harmless if the industry is actively moving toward AI actors and voice actors. VAs are at risk of losing their jobs and having their voice uh, voices say things they don't agree to. Now, the, the fact of the matter is there has been some English voice actors over the years that have been exposed for being like literal predators. Some who are complete bigots and some who are just completely morally bankrupt. So those VAs probably people would celebrate if they were replaced by AI. However, obviously, there's also a lot of chill VAs too, to be fair. And it does suck for like the chill VAs that genuinely love anime, gaming, the fans and all that, and just genuinely want to be a part of uh, an industry that they just enjoy and they want to provide a good product to people. And they're like, you know, they're, they're real. Sucks that they got to go through all that too. Like it's already a concern for them to, as this person mentioned, potentially lose their job down the road due to the furthering of AI technology. And then on top of that, now they also got to worry about like AI taking their voice uh, or someone like taking their voice, putting it through AI and having them say a bunch of crazy stuff that potentially may negatively impact their career. So yeah. But again, like as we're seeing in this situation, trying to stop that has only caused a strike sound effect and a bunch of re-uploads. So what's the best approach? Okay, so here's my actual opinion on this now. Thought about it a little bit. I don't think going after the random people on the internet is working too well because again, it's only caused a strike sand effect and a bunch of re-uploads and all that. I think instead of the attention being put on random people on the internet, the focus should be put on the corpos. And what I mean by that is, for example, if a voice actor is going to work with a company and that company then turns around and says, actually, we can't hire you because there's a silly meme video using your voice and we can't have that. Like maybe that's when voice actors should band together and be like, yo, this company, you guys are unreasonable. Like we can't stop random people from memeing our voice and stuff on the internet. So why are you victim blaming us? Like we can't do anything about it. And now you're, you're going to like not hire us because of that. Again, it kind of seems like victim blaming. Maybe they could play that angle and just go after the corpos. So like, yeah, maybe the company should just be more chill about all this stuff. If there's really nothing that can be done. And it's just like the technology, the internet and all that. So yeah, that's my two cents. Probably maybe more attention on the corpos as opposed to random people on the internet is a better uh is a better approach but ultimately that's just my two cents from hearing about this this morning and thinking about it rather briefly so it's not like i've spent like a whole lot of time thinking about this and breaking it down and all that let me know what you think in the comments appreciate you and your time wish you all the best i will see you in the comments and of course in the next segment